What if I told you there's a secret trick to achieve this look very easily? The method I'm going to teach you is one I've used countless times, and that has saved me hours of time on my illustrations. And it will work this way for you, too. It'll transform your art from this to this. So without further ado, let's get into the topic of this video. So pull up your base colors and just do some basic shading. It doesn't have to be much, but add however much you want. I just put a very minimal amount of shading for mine, and I didn't use many blending modes if I used any. Now make a new layer on top of everything, and I mean even the line art too. Set the layer mode to multiply, then select a lighter, slightly muted red color. And you're going to want to go over your subject or foreground with that color on the layer you just made. And it should look somewhat like this. And now at this point, you should make sure you know where the light source is in your artwork, because that's going to be very important in this next step. So select your eraser tool and on the layer we just made and filled the subject with, begin to erase just little parts that are on the side of the light source. Just double check what I'm doing here with what you're doing to make sure you're not doing it wrong. Alright, so we have the first layer of lighting done, but if you want to make it even better, you need to follow these next few steps. Make a brand new layer above the first layer of lighting and set this new layer mode to add or preferably add glow if your software has that option. Then take a thin brush and select the color of white, and then trace over the very end of the parts you erased before. If that sounded confusing to you, just watch what I'm doing here. You can lower the opacity of that layer if you want to, but if you do, make it only slightly lowered. And then the next thing you're going to want to do is make yet another layer and set that mode to overlay. Make the color light orange or peach as well, and then with an airbrush just lightly go over the places that we traced with white. After that, you'll need to make a new layer over everything set to multiply, and using a darker color, add a little shading on the side of the subject furthest from the light source. I recommend lowering the opacity on that layer, but how much you lower it depends on how bright or dark the environment is in the artwork. And feel free to add other layers of shading if you want to further enhance things, and, add, and airbrush the background some too. I think I'll make a tutorial on basic shading soon as well. So let me know if you want to see me make that. And now that you've learned the secret to beautiful lighting, you'll want to know how to prepare before your illustrations. I have prepared a proven method for this, so if you want to know what that is, click the video right here. 